Boy, did I luck out. I just parked my bike and closed the garage not four minutes ago. And it is pouring. I got lucky. So, something that I didn't realize when I purchased this bike, uh, that I realized shortly after getting it home, uh, if we turn on the key here, you can see we've got a tail light. Now, when I step on the foot brake, which is the rear brake, you can see we've got brake lights. Now, the exact same thing should happen when I squeeze the front brake, but as you can see, I'm applying the brake and we've got nothing. No change. So I've got no brake light uh, when I activate the front brakes. That's a safety issue. Uh, much like on dirt bikes, on street bikes, 60 to 70% of your braking is done with the front end. And that's a real safety issue if drivers can't tell that I'm applying the brake. So we got to dig in, we got to figure out why and repair it. So I have the, uh, the right side switch housing apart and I've got the actual little switch. This is it. It's hard to see. See that little nubbin sticking out right here. So two wires go to this thing. Um, first thing we want to make sure is it's got power. So I just pick a wire, stab it with my test light, turn the key on. And as you can see, we've got power. Key off, key on, key off. So then the next thing we're going to do is stab the other side of this wire so that's power in. It should have, right now with this switch depressed, there should be nothing coming out. And with the switch released, we should have power. So again, we'll turn the key on and the headlight is on, keys on, but nothing. Let me hold this guy up here. Nothing coming out of the switch. So it should be off, should be on, should be off, should be on. So we've got power to the switch but nothing coming out of the switch. I'd say this little switch is dead. Looks like we gotta order some parts. So our parts have showed up. You can see the brand new little switch. It comes with the switch. The leads aren't very long, only about four inches, but more than we need. Two little zip ties and some shrink tube. Uh, I ordered this through J&P Cycles. First thing I've ever ordered through them. It's like $14 for this switch. Price it through uh, Harley Davidson, it's like a $75 switch. I mean, it's the exact same color and stripes of each wire. Just looking at it, I mean, it, it, I don't know how you could get any closer to OEM than this. And at, you know, roughly one-sixth of the cost of the Steelership, uh, I'll probably order parts from J&P Cycles more frequently. Sent me some stickers, which are kind of cool. We'll plaster those all over the shop. But let's get this thing put in. So we've got the new brake switch. Um, tinned the wires, soldered it into the factory harness. I've got the heat shrink tube just over it, but I haven't shrunk it yet because I want to test it and make sure it works. So let's do that. Um, with nothing on the switch in the sprung open position, that should close the circuit and we should have a brake light when I turn the key on. And it appears to be bright. So this would be if I had squeezed the brake lever, it releases that pin and activates the brake. So when I release the lever, it should push on the pin and we should go into uh, tail instead of brake on that light. So let's check it out. Squeeze it. Look at that. Tail light. Brake. Tail. Brake. Tail. There it is. So we'll solder this all up and button it back up. Awesome. So we got it all buttoned back up and we're ready to officially test it. So key on, we got tail, we're going to use the foot brake first, rear brake, we've got brake lights, now we're going to use the front brake. Look at that. Brake lights, we're safe and legal. Uh, one other thing I did off camera was to double check, uh, readjusted the, the dual throttle cable. So you want to make sure that you can hear the, the butterfly and the carp closing. That little click at full release. Make sure that you know there's no stickiness in the throttle at all. And I also tested all of the buttons to make sure that I didn't accidentally pinch a wire inside here and now something else doesn't work. So we're ready to run. I'm super excited. That was a fun little project. 
Well, I think I officially joined the Harley Davidson Club today. And what I mean by that is I had my very first part rattle loose and fall off at highway speed. Uh, that happened to be the kickstand. So I was about a quarter mile from my work. I pull in, um, go to put my kickstand down and realize there is no kickstand. So <laughs> hop on the bike, start backtracking, and I found the kickstand laying in the middle of the road. What I didn't find was the spring, um, the pin that it pivots on, the cotter pin, obviously, that holds that pin in there, and a couple of bushings. So uh, I had to really quick makeshift uh, build a pin. I chucked up a, a bolt in the lathe and machined it down. Um, new cotter pin, it's hard to see up at the top, drilled it. And then that spring actually happens to be a brake spring off of a big rig. <laughs> so <laughs> I made do, I got home. Um, the pin that I made, the cotter pin and all that are in great shape. They fit well. So the only thing really I wanted to replace was that phony spring down there. So I stopped by Harley Davidson and I bought a replacement spring. It wasn't that bad, only nine bucks. So, uh, we're getting ready to install that now. All right, 440 cold startup. Here we go. So a key, we're going to pump it. One, two, three, turn the key on. Listen for the fuel pump. There it goes, bump the key. Just like that. Man, this thing runs awesome. Love this freaking car. Oh, ignore my tool explosion over here. But what I was doing tonight, uh, I put this tire on the front wheel. Again, this is that older wide glide wheel that has the, the smaller, better looking hub that I like. Uh, and I just ran it with the tire that was on it, which is this tire. I, I believe this is a Baldini Maypop. Uh, it's weather checked. It's just about totally worn out. And in one particular spot, there's a pretty good cut in it. And uh, yeah, it's just pretty unsafe to continue riding with that, especially because I have this brand new tire. And I mean, it's still got the little tits sticking off of it. Hopefully you can see those. Anyhow, I had this brand new tire on the factory wheel. So it took about an hour and a half tonight to dismount the new tire off the old wheel and dismount the old tire off the wide glide wheel and swap them. But here we are, back on. Uh, I, I did a hanging balance on it. And let's see if we can find them. Yeah, right here. Here's the weights. I had these, uh, just knocked them off the old wheels and uh, just did a hanging balance on it. Just got back from a test ride. It rides fantastic. So, got a brand new tire, might as well run it until I get the white walls. So that's what we were doing. So as you can see, the tool explosion is now cleaned up. Um, that last little portion of video there, my brother and I took a, a, about a 70 mile ride today. Uh, that was a local state park. Went and hung out and enjoyed the nice weather. And Not a whole heck of a lot going on this last month, you know. A um, few little things, the brake light switch, front tire, uh, losing the kickstand. <laughs> Just been riding the crap out of it, really. Um, the last three months, I've put 1,100 miles on the bike, so I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, rate, and comment, and we'll see you guys sometime on the next update.